Now, after former President APJ Abdul Kalam's assurances failed to make an impact on the anti kodan Kolam plant protesters, the Centre's expert committee and the state panel will meet for the first time to discuss the nuclear power plant. Now, the Centre will most likely use this opportunity to end the statement. He tried his best to ensure them that the controversial kodan Kolam nuclear plant was safe. I visited the, visited the facility nuclear power plant yesterday and uh, get the safety angle all aspects I have looked at it and since I know I have studied the plant I confirm uh, that it is really it's a very safe uh, uh, power, uh, power nuclear power plant. But former president APJ Abdul Kalam's assurances fell on deaf ears. Dr. Abdul Kalam's intervention in support of the Kudum Kulam uh, nuclear project has failed, com comprehensively failed to convince any of the protesters, the thousands of protesters who've been there. This is their uh, relay hunger strike now into its third week. Uh, Dr. Kalam did not appear to be speaking like a scientist and an objective and rational person when he says something is. 100% safe. It's a completely unscientific state. Nothing, no technology is 100% safe. And today, another crucial day. As a 15-member expert committee set up by the centre meets representatives of the anti-nuke plant protesters. The state-appointed committee with two anti-nuclear protesters will be meeting the centre-appointed 15-member panel for the first time in Tunnel Valley. The meeting is expected to iron out differences and answer specific questions being raised by the anti-nuclear protesters. But the protesters do not want anything less than shutting down the nuclear power plant. A first meeting between the centre and state panel. The centre likely to focus on the science and technology aspects of the safety of the nuclear plant installation. The meeting today, a ray of hope for the centre. The government hopeful that perhaps this communication on safety measures incorporated will trickle down to the locals in a convincing manner. Bureau Report, Times Now.